There he is. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Is it clear? Is, is it clear for you on the sound and everything? Yeah, fantastic, mate. Uh, coming through nice and clear. Nice and clear. What awesome. time is it over there? I'm an hour later than you, the day behind, I guess. So we're 23 hours different. So it's Thursday at a quarter to 12. Oh, so you're, right. Okay. You're quarter to 11 then, right? No, no, no. I'm I'm just looking. I'm uh I'm Friday, quarter to nine in the morning. Quarter to nine. So you're twenty two hours. Yeah, it's quite a twenty two hours ahead of me. So that's cool. Yeah. So yeah. what part that's of Australia a, are you in? You in the East Coast, West Coast? I uh, know. I'm I'm actually in New Zealand. I'm sorry, New yeah. Zealand. So you're yeah, yeah. you're not Australia. Only... You're, it's north. It's southeast of of uh, Australia. Uh. Australia's here. We'll be north, sort of northeast of Australia, down down the bottom. We're the first country to see anything happen in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's actually quite unreal. On, on New Year's Eve, you know, a lot of my friends are in South Africa, and uh, we'll be celebrating here, and you know, wishing them Happy New Year. And they're saying, "Well, hang on, you're a couple of hours too early." Yeah, so, I got a friend that I used to, an old friend that used to live by me over in my house in Redmond here that did a lot of work um, in that area. Actually, I think Papua New Guinea is not far from you, right? Yeah, that's that's the other side of Australia in those islands. Um, okay. Yeah, that, 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 that to the south of Australia, top end of Australia. Yeah, he so, used to do yeah. some work over there for uh, some mining companies. Uh, they were mining for materials and and I, okay. I thought he was on the business side and, and uh, negotiating you know, work and labor, and uh, I'm not sure it was it was kind yeah. of complicated because the government was involved and it was a big wait period. So I don't know what he's doing now. I haven't talked to him in years, but he right. spent a lot of time down there, and, and he'd fly back and forth from Seattle to down there. Like he'd go down for six months and come back for three months and go down for six months. And wow, yeah, that, that, that would be pretty world. challenging. Pretty challenging, yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah, so, man. So I wanted to share with you what I'm doing, and it's interesting. Yeah. So uh, to learn a little bit more about you, you made some statements a little bit back in the the meeting that really intrigued me. Okay. You, said, you said a few key words that is really something that's after my heart, and and I that's right. attracted towards you a little bit. And you probably okay. know what they are, but you said those are biblical principles. Yeah, yeah, I, I live my life on biblical principles. Um, yeah. God is first in my life. Yeah. Family, family, family is second. And when you say biblical, I mean, a lot of people say God, but a lot of people say God and it, they got this certain view of God. But when they say, say biblical principles, that's specific because the Bible is different than yes. a lot of other religions, right? There, there are a lot of people that have a religion Absolutely. and they still don't believe in God. And But then when you take the Bible and you don't segment it and you take the whole thing in its context, that's the yeah. difference maker, right? You know, oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. It's uh, it's the way uh, my wife and I live our lives, um, and it's fantastic. It's it's just amazing. Um, I, I I go through life wondering how people manage to get through life without God in their, you know, right. in in yeah. in their lives. It's. I know. I say it all the time. I say, how do people do it? Their do life without God and a relationship with Jesus, and actually. Because yeah. you don't know what's going on and things change so rapidly, especially in today's world. You know, you're older like myself. The the yeah. technology has changed in the last 20 years so advanced so quickly and and it's hard to keep up. And and you see all these opportunities and and I have a hard time with patience and, and I, I got a little bit of attention attention deficit disorder. So I, I get sidetracked. Yeah. I got a million projects I'm trying to do and I can't I start doing one and I get sidetracked and I bounce around yeah. trying to find ways. Uh, but okay. I, I'm praying for some some direction. But just to let you know, my name of my company is PL Marketing Partners. Yes. And, and PL stands for Praise the Lord. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I don't tell everybody that. Uh, oh, excellent. No, I love that. I'll, my focus uh, just, with me and my partner is to work with just people that, that have biblical principles and believe that so we can build the kingdom. Because one of the things I think we can do in this world. If you use the money to do the right things, we can actually make an impact in this world. And that's what God wants. It's not about yes. me. It's not about the money, but I know that, that the money is there in a big way. And I want to give 90% of what I make 
a way to causes to change the world. My church is relatively medium sized church here in Seattle, South Seattle. Uh, yes. no, you know where Seattle is, Washington, Northwest corner. We're kind of like tucked away. We're the last ones to know. We're the closest ones to Russia. So if they attack, we're going to get blown up first. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but the reality is that my focus is not really about me anymore. I'm at this point where I, I went through a really horrific divorce. My wife wanted a boyfriend and I, and I changed yeah. my view on life and it really hurt me bad. And I went through a real hard time. I mm, went through I some imagine. I and I made it. I overcome and I come through a lot of things that tragic things. And my she lied to my children. I she it was I oh. lost my business, lost my job, lost my I got COVID and pneumonia twice within a year, had to sell my house during COVID. It was a, it oh, was a wow. um and then it ended up wow. that God God saw me through it and and he he told me one night I had a dream, and this is I don't share this with a lot of people because I when I was oh. got, when I got divorced. Um, it turned me into an addict. I did. I, I released through drugs and alcohol. So I was doing yes. alcohol really hard every night. And I woke up one night in, in my car driving 120 miles an hour down the freeway. And wow. I came awake and I had this awakening. I looked down between my legs and there was a half drunk bottle of Jack Daniels. And I said, God, I can't do this. I'm trying to kill myself. You got to save me. There's got to be a purpose for this. And I, and wow. as clear as day, I became sober as, as you were waking up in the morning after a 10 hour sleep. And I woke up oh, and, was, and Jesus said, you're going to do something big and you're going to change the world. And it's not for you. It's for the kingdom. And you are going to develop a company and a business that's going to make millions of dollars for your church and your church is going to develop property. Now, yeah. I didn't know about this at the time. Oh, beautiful. man! This church. And this church was introduced to me by a girl that I went to the Starbucks and I drove in to the drive the drive through and I told the gal I said I was playing my music my Christian music because I was I was really getting into it and I was changing and yes. I thought about the Christian music world and I said you need to to you know get me in a worship state of mind and get in your presence to change me because I can't do it alone I can't do yeah, it and have the surprises of his people huh yeah and so I I drove up to the Starbucks window and this gal in there heard me playing my Christian music. And, and she says, I turned it down because she looked at me funny. And she says, no, 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 I love that music. I'm like, really, you like this music? And she, I said, where do you go to church? She says, I go all the way to Seattle. So I live like 40 minutes away from this church that she goes to. And I said, yeah. so this must be a good church. You must like it. I want to go there. So I went there and I've been going nonstop ever since. Every Sunday, oh, and I beautiful. got involved with the group and, and they got 26 acres that they're going to develop into a campus to help change the world. It's going to be help, help the homeless, feed the homeless, help women that are in trouble, drug addictions. It's going to have a health facility, a sports facility. It's going to cost 80 million, $90 million. Wow. wow. A, a big project. Big I want to be a big part of that. So I networked yeah. through my church and got involved with my pastor and he's a, a, an ex NFL American football player. So he's quite well to do and has connections in Texas and then he hooked up with this developer. I'm 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 telling you story quickly so I can get to the point that just recently oh, I I met with a uh, the one of the biggest real estate developers that's part of the church and he's got so much business he doesn't know how to what to do. A lot of these well the struggle is for me, uh, Wayne is I yeah. I don't find people that need I can't find people that need my service like marketing and advertising. I don't right. really spend a lot of time talking to people about my service because I'm trying to learn what I'm doing right now still. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear you. And I'm trying to yeah. develop my presentation and my, my PowerPoint presentation and my website. I got a few people I'm building websites for that are keeping me too busy. You know, now we got Billy Jean and that's just overwhelming with all these tools. Absolutely. Yes. And I'm trying to figure out a way to duplicate myself so I can expedite this process. And I said to myself, I said, Lord, this Billy Jean. Day, now I, I was really hesitant at doing the Billy Jean, and I'll tell you why. Yeah, <laughs> and you know why? He comes across as not really a Christian. He's yes. he's, he's a lot about the money, and he, he he's I know he's he's a good guy, but he was probably where he was raised. He just has that culture that is not uh, about God and and kindness, and it it comes out in the people's tone and the way they speak and what the words they yes. use, right? I mean, yes. I'm not against people cussing and using all those languages. I grew up 
in that environment at a young age. Everyone can change. God, thank God we can, right? I was oh, absolutely. Was, look at Paul. I was, look at Paul. <laughs> I was just going to say Saul the Paul. That's my next yeah. tattoo is Saul the Paul. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I've shown you my tattoos, but you probably can't read that, but I'll show it to you. Yeah. Can you read that? Oh, beautiful. I love Ephesians. Ephesians yes. 3 and 14 through 20, a fullness of God. And that's that's a cross, the, the three nail cross. I just got this last, last week. Oh. And then okay. I have this tattoo, which is the cross with the the, oh, yes. the veil on it, the Tor. And this says uh his final breath inside my his final breath upon the cross is now alive in me. Oh, beautiful words, beautiful words, huh? Yeah, I'm not done. Oh. And I'm going to represent uh, on a big way on my arms and so people can see what I am because I, I envision myself being a individual that's developing a company and I'm a leader within the Christian community on a global scale. My, yes. I, I'm this, this is a blessing to have this group with Billy and, and meeting people around the world because I know that with God's will, anything can be done. And I know that if it's done for his purpose, we can make a big change. And I want to, and he'll take care of us. It doesn't, it's not oh, 100%. Problem. Nothing, nothing happens in my life or in your life that God hasn't preordained. This is a preordained meeting. That's how I look at it. God, nothing, absolutely nothing happens in my life that God hasn't appointed. There's a reason for us to have this meeting, a reason for us to have this conversation. Um, you know, we will sharpen each other's swords and 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 we will go forth victoriously. I I, I firmly believe that. Yeah. Um, it's when I listen to your story, <laughs> uh, I'm encouraged by it. Uh, I don't laugh uh, um, heartily. I laugh joyously. Um, if uh, so, my story is 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 um okay i haven't had the heartbreak of a of a breakup but i have built businesses and had them ripped from underneath me um uh and and been broken down that many times uh but i just counted pure joy pure joy that that uh you know um i'm learning all the time uh but my faith in 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 jesus christ has never has never waned <laughs> for another for a different uh, uh, version of it, um, and I'm I'm just so encouraged to 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 be able to share this with you. You know, I I I'm currently bankrupt. I lost uh, my business, uh, my main income. So I had an engineering business. We rebuilt Christchurch um, from the earthquakes. Um, we were turning over four and a half five million a year, and. Uh, it was such a wonder. I, I used that business to reach into the business community um, and and just, you know, proclaim Jesus Christ throughout. And it was wonderful. I was I was able to 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 talk to a lot of businessmen. I was able to encourage them uh, to 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 come across and, and hand their their lives over to the Lord. And it was absolutely wonderful. Um, uh, I don't know if it's a case of we trusted the wrong people, but um, there were were companies that were sort of struggling, and we came alongside them and uh, put our uh, our lot with them. They went under, and, and unfortunately, that took us with them. So we lost everything. It, uh, when I say everything, I mean everything. It was uh, I'll never forget the day they drove down a, a car came driving down my driveway. He had uh, three passengers in the car. And he said, look, I'm terribly sorry, but I've come to repossess all your vehicles. And I said, wow, okay. <laughs> I said, bless you, man. I said, you're only doing your job. Uh, thank you. I'll, I'll pray for you. And, and, you know, and and he said, how can you be like you are? And I said, well, because it's material things. I said, my, I said, you can do what you want. My God will always be on the throne. You know, I will always be victorious. Right now, I'm I'm humbled. I'm I'm, I'm ashamed. Um, as a Christian businessman, I've gone under, but you know what? And 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 for a while that beat me up. Um, and I did go into depression and what have you. And but I just, yeah, I, I just kept believing. I knew for there was a reason behind it. I absolutely knew there was a reason behind it. Anyway, uh, lying in bed the one night, I um, oh sorry. So then I went and actually got myself a job. So from being the boss 
CEO down to the little old tradesman on the on the what's his name, and uh, I poured my heart and soul into this business. I I really developed it for the for the gentleman and got it going really really well. Only to have him uh, turn around to me one day when it was going well to say, "Look, actually, when I don't need you anymore." Right. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Well, you know, there's a season for everything, and my season with you and my time with you is gone. Um, and it's finished and, and that's fine. So I was lying in bed and uh, I just said to the Lord, I said, Lord, I want another business, a business where I don't have to deal with anybody else. I don't want to deal with anybody else. You know, I've just poured my heart out to him and I said, look, can you, you know, show me? I said, I want to make money in my sleep. Other people can do it. I can do it. Right. And uh, I started up uh, my two businesses that I've got now, which is Element Optics and uh, Trigger Cam, with not a cent to my name. I was in debt. <laughs> I actually started the business. As I was in debt. Um, so I just researched on the internet. I came across a, a crowd called Six Six Figure Mentors. And uh, that was quite an expensive course. It cost me $6,000. I, I didn't have it. I begged, borrowed, stealed, and and sold whatever little possessions I had. And I and I knew I had to do this course. Um and I did the course, but and the further I got, so what it taught me was it taught me how to to design and develop my own website, um, and 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 a whole lot of other things, business business acumen. Um, but then they started to go down a path that I wasn't comfortable with, um, uh, the power of positive thinking, you know, uh, manifesting, and and all of this sort of thing. The worldly, and, the worldly religion. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I always pray to the Lord. Even doing this course with Billy, I pray. Yeah. Every day I pray. I say, Lord, if I'm going down the wrong path here, please teach me. I I personally, you know my heart, and I can see the good that can come out of this. Yes. And I can use this for the good. So that's why I'm pursuing it. So anyway, I stuck with uh, Six Figure Mentors for, for a while, developed my website, um, and we got to the stage where they said, well, go out and find a product. What's your passion? I thought, well, hunting is my passion. And uh, I'd been watching a couple of YouTube videos on a guy in South Africa, and I thought, well, let me reach out to him. And, and uh, um, they'd, he'd just taken on and, and created a new brand of rifle scopes. I said, okay, fantastic. So I took it on. You know, I, I just contacted him and said, can I do it? He said, yeah, absolutely. So I developed a web page for it. it cost me a fortune again. Um, and, yeah, just ran with it my main goal though through the through the, the what's his name uh, through the the business was to be able to bless people and to be able to care and 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 just to meet new people to be able to tell them about the lord and what have you um and that was fantastic the more i blessed the more you know the more the lord reward me rewarded me for it and i, and I didn't ever once do it for that particular reason to 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 get financial gain, um, it wasn't for that. It was simply that I could, you know, bless others. And and uh, I saw another opportunity came up, so I thought, well, let me do the same with that. So I now make money in my sleep, which is which is great. Um, it's not. I'm not. Uh, I'm still in 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 bankruptcy, so I don't have a good credit rating. Um, so I cannot get credit anywhere. Um, we are, oh, that's another thing. Eight months ago, I was injured on a work site. Um, five or six weeks ago, I had finally got my back surgery done. Ah. Um, so I'm recovering from that. Um, on the 24th of this month, I go in for a another MRI scan, and then they're going to operate on my neck and my shoulders. Um, so you need a lot of pain? So, Do you need a lot of pain, or is it just damage that you got to repair? No, a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Um, yeah, I live, I live constantly in pain. But I've uh, so I, I was on such uh, powerful medication that it it was affecting my mind. Um, I'd be having conversations with people and I forget what I'm actually saying. Oh wow! You know, I'd, I'd be talking to you and then I'd, I'd say, "Well, what are we actually talking about?" Wow. That's how bad it got. And I just said to the Lord, "I said, no, nah, I'm not doing this anymore." So it's four weeks ago, I stopped all medication. Nice. And obviously, we're stopping all the medication. My pain levels have increased dramatically. Sure. But um, it's a blessing to get off the 
You, you can yeah. take a pill. You can manage the pain. It's a blessing to be off the drugs. So drugs, Absolutely. Are, drugs are bad. I, I think that there's natural stuff you can take that maybe you can yes. you look into. That's not the. And drug. that's what I'm doing. That's what I've done. I've got, I've gone all totally natural now. So I'm onto my turmeric, my all of those um, that I take uh, on 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 a regular basis. Um, so yeah, so uh, going through hardship is is at times we don't understand, and then you say to the Lord, "Oh, why am I going through this again? What didn't I learn? What this, whatever, whatever." Um, and it's just to remain faithful to God and say, well, you know what, God? You died on the cross for me that I would be saved. You died that, you know, um, for the very reason that I'm alive. So therefore, you know what's going on in my life. And if you, if, if, if whatever happens, happens, I know that you're in control. And just teach me to accept it. Um, well, we got to do it for the right reasons. Why? And he'll bless us for us. And so the, this is my, yeah. you, you're, you're right in the area that the, my, my wheelhouse in, in my mind that I'm going down and, and I got so many ideas and you, you fit into a big part of that. And I hope I can help yeah. you, but you said so many things that just sparked me about the, the, the technology and how the high level can, high level can be integrated. So you don't get things pulled out from underneath you. You can be in control as a marketer, be a partner. Yes. That's why I said PL marketing partners. I don't want to just do work for somebody, make them rich and have them say, okay, don't need you anymore. No, no, you can't do that because guess why? I control the marketing and I'll turn it off if you don't pay me. I'll just turn yeah. off the system. All the money <laughs> Correct. Can, I'm going to create the system. I'm going to create their business and they can't walk away from me. That's one thing I wanted to share with you that God showed me in this partnership. And I only want to do that with partners that are Christians. So I don't have that fear of it being taken away from me because they're not greedy. Yes. Christians are going to, things may fail, but it's as a group, we all fail, right? It's not because Absolutely. somebody failed me, it's because we all failed. Uh, yes. it, it's a community. It's a, uh, I, I can't express, oh, I'm so excited. There's so many things I want to share. So you mentioned um, the, you know, what what's your passions? Well, the one thing, when I, I'm always thinking about business ideas and marketing and the, the idea you, is you making, sound like making, me. <laughs> making money while you sleep right so what what better yes. way to do that is have people put their credit card online through your website and you get paid and it goes around the world right so yes. you're you're in a space the the health and wellness you're you're a, you're a testimony of pain without drugs and that the the herbal world that's out there that's going to be a bigger part because people don't trust drugs anymore people Absolutely. don't trust pharmaceutical yeah. companies People, it's even going to grow. There's a, I think there's a, there's a, uh, a big part of that industry that's not too ethical. That they don't, the the quantity of the natural herbs in the products are not as high as the level as, so they can make money. That right? should be exactly. So they yes. can raise the quantity of the the good herbs and vi minerals and vitamins that come naturally that do these things. And I want to learn more about that, the health industry, because that's one of my biggest areas and i just love your testimony that's just awesome because yeah. that's perfect in the wheelhouse that i want to get into in the fitness area of natural herbs to market for them on have a web platform and we just market it out to people that are having ailments like we're learning right now within facebook yeah. how to target them and we yeah. get people to buy and make it affordable but make it so good that they don't want to go anywhere give make less yeah. so we get a bigger volume Make oh, 100%. I just want to show you something. Just hold it right there. Um, so, this, these are, let me just see, sorry. I'm going to, just, just give me two seconds. I've just got to find, find these books again. There we go. So, so really quick too, I'm going to do a podcast and you're going to be holistic guide to wellness. This is going to be one of our areas, Wayne. And I feel it because I feel your pain. I have a lot of pain too, because of football. I played American football and I got hurt really bad. And, and I yes. got arthritis in my back, my knees, my hips, yeah. 
uh, and I try to work out. I've gained some weight because doing sitting behind the computer all the time, you, I got lucky. <laughs> so I yes. try to work out, but it's so hard. And I'm 260 pounds at 60 years old. I shouldn't be that heavy. If you saw me, you'd say I would. I, there's no way I weigh 260. Well, I'm just thick from a lot of muscle and I got big legs and I worked out lifting weights a yeah. lot. So I got a lot of that, that residual muscle, but I, it, it's hurting my body and my joints. I mean, I have terrible knee pain. I just, my knees are throbbing. Uh, my yeah. back. So I'm thinking about not doing the drugs anymore because I started doing some drugs and I'm going to get off of them. Yes. And, and I've diminished them to the point where it's manageable, but I got to go completely herbal like you got right there. That book that that yeah. we do an ebook and we market to people and we find the Absolutely. manufacturers. And you're in an area yes. around the world where a lot of these products. Oh, there you go. There's another one there. The last book of herbal, herbal remedies. Yeah, you know, I'll send I'll send you the links to to these yeah. Um but it's just it's it's absolutely amazing, man. It's just full with with pages of herbs that that we can just gain that they're in our backyards. Yeah. Um that are so effective for you know for, for healing the body. You know. Um yeah. and another another thing that is that is that is vitally, vitally important. Um and and it's to get away from the mindset of the power of positive thinking and get it through to a mindset of hey i have a creator that that is able to 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 um renew and restore my body i mean i can't currently now if i pick up a two liter i don't know do you call it a jug over there we call it a kettle like a gallon, uh, you, like a gallon of milk, for boiling or a gallon of milk. Yes, okay, for boiling boiling water. I cannot hold that up in front of me right now, with either of my arms. I have absolutely no strength. The nerve damage in my neck is just yeah. So that they, they're going to go in. They're going to fuse two parts of the neck, and they're going to replace a disc in another part of the neck. But as a result, and I've sat with this now for eight months, the nerves have all just been crushed, and you know. Um, so I find it extremely difficult to lift my arms above my shoulders. The, the most amazing thing is, is when I do my praise and worship in the mornings, exactly. And, and I do it and there is no pain. Ah, I love it. And I just say, Lord, that is amazing. And the more I do it, the less pain I have. Um, I know the feeling. I want to tell you really quick before I forget. I yeah. am, I am do the same thing when I got when I go to church I go up to the front near the the stage <laughs> and worship and guess yeah. what with my bad knees I'm dancing yeah and the more you I have do to. it the more I do it the less my knees hurt yes and, and they get looser my back doesn't hurt I'm more flexible I get it's like it's like the Holy Spirit's coming through me and it, he's eating. absolutely energized absolutely energized you know so for for me. And and they used herbs in the Bible. I mean, it's mentioned uh, a, a good couple of times. So I'm on the same. I, I, it would be so exciting to go down. I mean, I've got books. There are Christian books written on on the herbs in 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 the Bible and and their uses and what have you. Yes. But it would yeah, it would be so exciting to get people away from drugs and onto the natural. That's the that's the website and that's the Facebook page. Right there, you just said it. Away from drugs and onto the natural. Oh, and beautiful. Do it with, yeah, yeah. Doing it with with uh, historical, proven methods. Not only you, we can say it's biblical all you want. We we all know that, but there's yeah. historical evidence that this this there's plants on this earth that were created by our Creator for us to use. They're being used, and they're, they're but how they're being used by the pharmaceuticals is. They take those drugs and they make a synthetic form of them, increase Correct. the power of it, and then they sell yeah. it. So that they, they, they're using the synthetic portion of that natural yeah. thing. And that's, they went too far for greed and that's Satan. And that's why it's killing the coke, you know, fentanyl and painkillers. I don't know how many problems problem you have in, in your part of the country, but you know, my, United States is in an epidemic right now. We're, we're imploding. Uh -huh. we're, there's a whole nother story there. We're we're. In I watch I watch Fox News. Um and uh, gosh, I tell you what, you guys are in 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 a, a spiritual battle there of biblical proportions. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. I, I, I'm trying to identify who Biden is uh, in the word of God. He's still a creation of God, and I see him as that. I don't I don't want to brand him as being the devil or the this or the that or whatever. Right. Um, but yeah, to pray that his mind would would uh become clearer um and repent of all his sins. I think his sins are the biggest thing that that uh um weighs heavily on his heart, although yeah. he doesn't know it. Uh and the more sin you have, the less uh ability you have to 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 um to speak the truth. Yeah. Um so yeah, it's 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 unfortunate. How do you feel about Donald? Oh, that's actually politics and Christian. politics aside. <laughs> but to answer your question, I don't know if there's an answer. You know, we all know as as Christians that there <laughs> there is leaders that have changed their ways, and Biden can change as well and be saved. But he's not right now. He's being no. persuaded by evil spirits. I believe he's. He's not in control of his body and his mind and his spirit. And there's people, other other people that are evil that are around him that are not helping him. They're they're they got evil desires, and and I think that the evil has penetrated this government in a big way. And I think Donald Trump yes. sees that. I think there's people on the conservative side that that are more biblical mindset. We're we're a country built on Judeo Christian values, and we as yes. a country built on Judeo Christian values, we have a, 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 the uh, Constitution, and we have the the amendments and we have a lot of thing in place that people are battling against because they're they don't believe in those rights and the you know because of the fact that it creates fear because people that don't have a god in their lives and they're persuaded by the evil spirits and their selfish greed fear is driving their lives so what they try yeah. to do is control others because they're yes. so fearful and they, they see that, you know, Hitler was one of the most fearful men in the world. He couldn't sleep. That's why he took drugs. And then yeah, yeah. suicide because he, he finally lost. But um, there's a whole bunch of people through history that really were doing evil. But they, they would say that they were doing it for the, the reasons of good because they were possessed. That's yeah. possession, right? When you think you're doing something, it's good and it's not good. Absolutely. Uh, that It's an evil spirit that is taking over your mind and your spirit. That's my feeling. And I'm trying to be more and more biblical. If you would have asked me that question four years ago about Trump, I, I still thought he was the answer because I'm conservative. I'm against, against a lot of the liberal principles and that we, we have problems in this country because of that. But uh, I think the only answer is a guy that's from the outside that, that's not a, a uh, politician. It's got to yeah. be a person from the outside. And Trump is the only guy that's from the outside. And he actually looks amazing. He looks the same way he did eight years ago. Absolutely, absolutely. And he is a Christian. He's given his life to the Lord. I've heard that. I've seen a picture um, of him in, in being prayed over by many worship leaders. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that's encouraging. Um, obviously, God will put in place the government that uh, that he chooses, I, I believe. And I believe prayer is needed for 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 Donald Trump or whoever's going to come into power. Um, yeah, it's... it's uh, uh, I wouldn't say it's an exciting time that we live in because it is, I believe, we're, we're close to the end times. Um, but I think it's foolish to to dwell on on the end times. God hasn't given us a date. Um, and you can get caught up in, oh, it's the end times and, oh, who's this, who's that? And, you know, he's part of the devil and he's not and what have you. You know, you've got to divorce all of that from your mind and just say, well, you know what, God, you're, you're on the phone and I'm here to worship you. Yeah. Um, whatever happens in the world will happen you, he teaches you know us to, he teaches us to live in the moment and that's why he doesn't give yes. us a date because if we knew a date we'd all be fearful of trying to do exactly. other yeah. things that are not important that hurt others or there would be mass hysteria right <laughs> if we <knew>. yeah <laughs> absolutely well man wouldn't wouldn't be able to handle it no the difference uh, yeah it's it's a, a sad state of affairs so what's what's billy now um I I have my days where I feel yes I'm on the right track and then I have my days where I, where I think oh lord am I doing the right thing you know am I please show me do you know um, lead me guide me uh, protect my mind uh, you know and and all these sort of things so currently I'm asking the lord for total clarity 
total clarity, am I doing the right thing? Because I wake up, I, if I'm doing the right thing, I won't wake up with doubt in my mind. Yeah. You know, what, Holy Spirit, what are you trying to show me? What are you trying to say to me? Um, but again, I don't hear that clearly from, from the Lord. Um, I know he directs my, my path. So I live by the principle of knock and the door will be opened. Uh, and what I mean by that is I've knocked on many doors. And God says the door will be open. The doors are open, but I haven't had the courage to step through. It's once you step through that the Lord can then take control. You know, you can stand at the door and knock, 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 knock. If you don't open that door and step through. So I've stepped through in faith, excuse me, in faith into this door of Billie Jean. I've, I've followed Billie Jean King or Billie Jean, sorry, not King. I keep saying that. Billie <laughs> Jean for the last four or five years. Ah. When I first started to develop my two businesses, it was Billie Jean, Tony Robbins, um, and and then Six Figure Mentors. You know, and I've gone through Tony Robbins, again a Christian. I just wish he would. He he he's a Christian. Okay, oh, I don't want to judge. Um, yeah, but he doesn't there's... speak. A, he doesn't speak a lot of biblical principles. He speaks about. Uh, um... He allows all religions to be acceptable. Yes. Which which worries me. You know, he's 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 a lovely man. He's doing fantastic. I mean, he feeds millions and millions of people. He does whatever he does. He's he's very generous with with his his uh, finances and what have you. But at the end of the day, I worry for his soul. You know, he can do all of that on the day of judgment. Am I going to see him in heaven? Um. So. Well, sometimes people that have a lot of money and a lot of power tend to fill the void of their lack of relationship with Jesus and 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 the King. They fill that by doing things for other because they think that that they almost go in the mindset of like the the more works they do, the the better off they'll be. And other than trying to direct people in their mind to be more biblical thinking with his power, he he just uses the money to yes. sometimes solve that problem but i think he needs to go a step further you're right and i don't you know i'm not judging by any means i mean i i believe that you know, it's not my place because i've been worse than anybody right that god's working on me in a big way to change mm -hmm. i know that i know that there's a reason and you you ask about you know if you're in the right place i believe that god in the leading this is the work it's really difficult right like god lets this is when you ask the question why does god let bad things happen to good people it's almost yeah. like he doesn't. What he does is he uses bad things to strengthen yourself to do more for the kingdom and direct us. Yeah. So it's the Absolutely. journey that we're going on that he's allowing. It's how mm -hmm. we use this information and knowledge for the kingdom is where we're yes. going to be blessed. So is it a, a which, will, which boils down to testimony? Yeah. Testimony is the greatest thing that we could do for the Lord is to so, testify. Oh my gosh! And you, you, you were yeah. such a testimony, Wayne. That's where we can take what we got and what we're learning from Billy Jean and apply it to do, doing businesses the right way. Yeah, doing, doing oh, vitamins, <laughs> doing vitamins the right way. Doing, yeah. and it's not so much about the money, but it's maybe it's about the fact that we're actually putting more uh, of the good products in the materials when people buy it. It's not just full of filler; it actually works really well. Right. Yes. Yes. And no, I, I, look, I, I hundred percent agree with you. Um, it's, it's certainly an an area that, uh, I, 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 um, I know the product would do do well, um, but I'm excited to know how we could, could uh, intertwine, the word of God into it. That's the exciting part. Yeah. You know? That's, you know, um, that would just be absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And it can be done. Yeah. I believe by the power of God, it can be done. I I would encourage one thing on your side. I've, I've just been through total overwhelm. Um, you know, just taking on too many 
too many things um too many features too many too many technologies too many tools a lot to learn like i'm in the yeah the stuff right now with these four different websites trying to come up with good videos and editing videos and creating scripts and shooting my own video and posting that in an ad you know yeah there's a lot of technical things if you can package it more simplified in a process that's what i'm trying to do right now for everybody oh, like, I... you go shoot a video of yourself that what i think they do really a bad job on is going through and explaining how really how hard it is to navigate in the user interface of the web applications you go into yes. high and go into high gen it's great but you can spend an hour in there trying to figure out what to do next right yeah. Because what, because there's no direction, no no guidance, you're trying to figure it out on your own. Right. So your distraction from what you went in there for, you're now distracted with with how do I hang on? How do I use this tool? Exactly. So then your mind goes down that tool or down that path, and you've neglected. And then you come back to this thing. Oh gosh, I've just spent two hours on that, and I didn't really solve anything because I need to to get there. Yeah. I. I Something that the Lord um, really, really put on my heart to do, and I, I, I haven't done it yet. I've bought all the equipment. I've got uh, a lovely stand that I can put my phone on, and it'll follow me around while I talk and what have you. Oh. Wow. Um, um, but something that God's really, really placed on my heart is to do um, a daily diary. So life in the, the uh, day in the life of of Wayne, you know, and to just speak for 15, 20 minutes, what happened in my day, how I dealt with it, and where was God in that? Where was God in all of that? You know, yeah, what, what that. guidance did I seek from the Lord? And how did the Lord show up for me in that area? And you know, it's not a case of oh, how did the what miracle took place or what 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 what. It's a case of how the Holy Spirit gave me the wisdom to understand what was going on, and the strength and the peace to either accept or to change. That's that circumstance. Um, I still struggle with with uh, um, unforgiveness for people that have that have wronged me. Yeah. Um, and I know I need to deal with that daily. I've got to lay that at God's feet and say, Lord, you give me the strength to sort sort that out, you know, right. and, and he does. But in in my time of prayer, I have come to the conclusion that God wants me just to, so there's a lot of things I've cut out. I used to attend a, a ton of shooting competitions. Huh. Um, I've cut that out. Uh Two reasons. I physically can't do it because <laughs> my body's broken. Um, but even not attending, I was still part of the organization. So I had to sit down and say to myself, well, how, what is that bringing into my life and how necessary is it? You know, I had to make these decisions. So I broke it all down and I've now just come down. I've got three things that I focus on. Three things. All else I'm sorry, it's it's not, I cannot devote any time to it. In so doing, I found that I'm in a better headspace. I am. Yeah, you're, you're hit, you hit something that I struggle with on too a little bit is this distraction. I told you I'm a little bit ADHD, yeah. 100 pro projects going on and I can't do any of them well. So one thing that was shared with me and I started this fasting program. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, yes. With some brothers from my Bible study uh called starving i'll share with you the book it's pretty amazing but one of the things is is journaling and what it does it makes you focus and, and realize how scattered you are i think with journaling you can read what you did yet two weeks ago and you look at that and you go man i i was all over the board i did 15 different things i didn't get anything done and so what god has shown me is that i gotta pick like, like i told my partner peter i'll introduce you to peter he's a really good man friend of mine for 30 years christian man and yes he's I share with them that we got to focus. We got to focus down into one area. And I'll, I'll say, okay, what am I going to do today? I like, I have a website I got to build for this guy. I've been promising it for three weeks now and I just haven't got to it. And I, he's like, wants it done. And I, 
I, I want to, I feel bad, right? So I want to get it done. So I'm going to do it in high level, but I have to learn how to functionality of high level better. Cause I can do it in another platform really good and fast and probably yes. get it out of the day, but the high level is different. It's a different user interface. It's there's different features. That's, yeah. To find yeah. stuff, you have to search for stuff, and then you get distracted. Oh, there's that thing I was looking at, and then you go, "What was I doing five <laughs> minutes ago?" So what am I doing? Is like, well, I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn how to do a website in high level fast. That's my goal today. That's all I'm gonna do. My yes. goal today is to do that. And the reason Beautiful. I do that is because I want to help Florencio get his website done, so then I can go do the next thing for him, which is he wants to get on Google My Business on the Google Map Pack. He's in Madison, Wisconsin. And he's a carpet cleaner, Hispanic man. And he's, I really feel bad for him because he's struggling financially because he can't get any leads. And right. he thinks the website's going to get him business. Well, I think it'll help me. Obviously, this is where I go with you is that there's a step and there's a process and a journey. Once we learn how to do the websites on high level, then we got that. Then it's on to the next thing. And we got that. Yes. Sometimes we take on more than we think that because we, yes. we think we can handle it, but we really can't. But it only is <laughs> 24 hours in a day, right? How do we duplicate right. ourselves? So this is my proposal to you and I'll cut this short and we can come back and recircle on this. And yeah, that... I, I want to keep this going and, and I recorded this and I'll share this with you in a message so you can. Oh, beautiful. It. Thank you. Uh, and I, I'm going to start recording things and I'm going to segment co recordings out. So yes. I'm, I'm going to put it out there in the marketing side. So, and, and, um, when we get these things set up, we'll go back to this video in the beginning and we'll look at it and go, oh my gosh, Jeff, look at what we've done. I'll have to change the lighting in my office. I've got a light. That's, that's, it's nice uh, that you said that because you're, you're kind of dark. I mean, you need to get a light. Yeah, light. yeah. Get a lamp I'm in a little in office you. that's uh, that's two meters by three meters. Get a get a, a lamp at least that maybe is in front of you that so it shows a lot of face. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna. I, I, I definitely have to do that. Um, we're gonna use our videos in these in these mm -hmm. these Zoom meetings to grow our business, and people are gonna see our message, and we they can review segments of it. We can have segments of it. We can use all the tools that Billy's showing us to segment yeah, out beautiful. four minute sections of it to send out yeah. to people to to work with. And one of the I'll throw this out to you before we we cut this off, and I, just to keep in the no, no decisions today. Or, or yeah. process, but I want, like I said, I want to work with you and I want to, your knowledge is something that is more valuable than what you probably know, or maybe, you know, already, but no, your, no, no. <laughs> your e-commerce, your e-commerce success is something I need success. Cause I need to one point, cause I'm not making any living at all right now. I'm, I'm living off savings from the sales of my property. When I got divorced right now, I need to start making right. money to pay the bills, at least yes. a base salary so I can continue or I'm not going to go find work and in a year or so I got a year's time to go without making money, but there's no need to, to wait that long. I think I need to monetize what I've learned so far, create yes. a business that can make some income and you've done it. You and if you could document that and then yeah. train me and spend some time, I'll go into business with you and share. You tell me what value do I bring and I'll work on that. And then we can come up with a business and work on it together through high level and develop it and do what you've done. Beautiful. already. And I'll be, I'll be a, part of that with you um, yeah no i'd love I'd, I'd love for that man i'd love that it would be it would be an honor to to you know it, um as a global as a global for possibilities you're in a different part of the the world where things may be I'm, i might be missing opportunity just because you got a different global and visual perspective how old are you you're 65 <laughs> i look at now i'm only i'm 59 at the moment <laughs> 50, 59 yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm 60. 60. I'm 60. Okay. So we're I turned 60, 60 this year. Yeah, we're yeah. in the same what, boat. Yeah. What I do find, and this is where I'm trying to break out of this mold at the moment, is um, New Zealand is tiny. We've got a population of five and a half million. That's it. You know, um, my businesses, due to our banking laws, are limited to, to New Zealand market only. Um, so I'm going through a process now with my banks um, and getting, so I need to, first of all, get my websites certified by the banks. Um, I then need to, uh, they will then approve me and then I can go one step further and, and start to take international orders. Oh, so um, you're only selling in New Zealand? Only New Zealand. I can't take any international orders whatsoever. Well, what, if um, you, I get what if you what if you had a, a bank can you set up a bank in australia as a citizen of new zealand i possibly could 
I, I, I haven't looked that far. I've, I've approached my bank and they've certainly entertained the idea. They've said, look, we can do it. There are a lot of people who do do it, um, but they're very big on money laundering and, and, and all of that sort of thing. So I'm going through the process. I, I, my e-commerce sites need to be set up in such a way that they are transparent. Um, they are transparent at the moment to the New Zealand public, but uh, if you take international law into in, in, into account, there are certain things that I need to add to to make it um, uh, compliable. So it's a learning curve that I'm going through. So when I said to you, I've chosen three things at the moment. I'm doing that. Um, I'm doing uh, Billie Jean. Um, but then I'm just developing ads for my two sites that when I'm ready, I can launch them. Everything else, everything else has just been put on the back burner. I won't entertain so, it. I won't. So this gave me an idea and you can, you can maybe figure out how it works and pray about it and try to find a way to have this come to a friction and maybe, and I don't know yes. your laws. This is an idea that I just had that popped in my head is that yeah. maybe you can expand. I can help you expand outside of New Zealand, setting up, marketing strategies that are similar to what you're doing setting yeah. up websites and then and then we can have other countries be paying an account that we have and then that you can you get the money to you to new zealand or you could have access to the bank account in australia or england or wherever yeah. it is to where you can you can now go globally and be in new be in new zealand and make money yeah from global efforts there's not there's no law against you making money globally no not at all not at all i mean look i um so at the moment like one of the things that i need to set up on the website is um if i sell in new zealand dollars if you from uh the most common currency is american dollar or the euro yeah okay so if you come out and you buy you need to be able to switch uh on my website to uh, American currency and then right. everything on my site will show you in American currency that's 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 one of the things you can then make a payment um uh I'm the the the, the product I'm going to use is PayPal yeah um who are already on my website you can make that payment through to me uh for that payment PayPal will charge me a percentage per transaction that takes place all of that is fine. That's easy enough. It's actually on my website now. People that want to use PayPal can use PayPal. Um, I've negotiated with PayPal that I actually transfer that their fee that they want to charge me. They on charge that to the customer. Um, it's out there in black and white. Before they press go, you are going to be charged an extra 2% for your transaction. Huh. They, they accept and they, they push the button. So all of that's fine. I, and, and I can do that for international payments. Oh, cool. Where, where it comes a little bit unstuck is that my bank is now going to start to see monies coming in from all over the world. Okay. Right. They need to know that it's coming in legitimately. That's the first thing. Second thing is there will be a transaction fee that the bank charges me to process money coming in from America, from Kuwait, from wherever, wherever it comes from. So... The challenge for me now is to to see, okay, if I do that, am I still going to be affordable? Am I still going to 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 make the margins that I need to make to sustain the business? If if it's too expensive, you know, if my bank gets ridiculous and says, oh, we're going to charge you 2% of a transaction or 3% of a transaction, every transaction that comes in, um, you know, if I sell a $4,500 rifle scope, it starts to be a lot of money that gets taken off my bottom line. Um, then on top of that, there's the 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 shipping, so and, tax, and taxes too, right? You then there's that. absolutely then there's the taxes. So I would have to do um, what we call here is a, a provisional tax, which throws me straight up into a thirty six percent tax bracket. So every transaction wow. that I make. For the business, we'll go into a thirty-six percent. I'll pay thirty-six percent of that. I then need my accountant to work his magic and reduce my tax bill. I'm sure you'd, you'd know all about that. Reduce my tax bill to, you know, by by offsetting 
purchases, running costs, all that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a big, um, uh, well, what I what I would say is I see I see the the transactions from another country to your bank. What if, yeah. what if the trend? What if you had a bank that was in another country that we were marketing uh, yes. services to? Whatever it is, we come up with something. You help me with the e-commerce and all that knowledge. I I help you with the technical marketing and the Facebook and the some of the Billie Jean stuff and the websites and develop it using high level. Yeah, but we have a. Uh, we're going and selling all over the world and the bank account is let's say in Australia. Yeah. And you have access to that. Is that going to fall under this? Let's say, let's say that you show to this country of New Zealand that you have a, a international business and it's based in Australia. Do, do, is all those issues still apply to you when you take money in? Let's say. Yeah, they will still, that, absolutely. They are so big on, on money laundering here. It's, it's, it's not funny. It's, it's actually gone. To the extreme um so it does it does make it difficult if uh so so my wife works for a hedge fund company um and they take on millions in investments from australia and new zealand and they've got offices in australia um they cannot just take money out of the australian banks put it into the new zealand banks you know, say, say, for instance, I needed to pay wages or whatever, and the Australian bank account had a bigger balance than the New Zealand bank accounts. They couldn't just straight off transfer that money. It'd take five, five to seven days to transfer that money, and they would have to fill out reasons, you know, forms and everything for the bank, reasons for bringing that money in, uh, and uh, it would have to be legitimate. But they make reasons. it so hard for you to, to make a living. Oh wow! I tell you, yeah, that's that's why. It's, yeah, it's been a fascinating journey just getting you know to where we are at the moment. Um, so, yeah, look, I I love your idea, I and mean, let's let's make something happen. Let's uh, glorify the Lord and 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 uh, build His kingdom, man. You know, yeah, so kingdom. I'm I'm excited, and I want to hear some of your ideas. I I got a whole bunch of ideas talking to you. I'm not even sure what your e-commerce sites are. You you mentioned uh, the the area of uh, hunting. I love hunting. Yeah. I grew up in Montana. There's a, probably an international market there. If you can actually step outside of New Zealand and figure out a way to get monies to you, I mean, I don't know. You, you I don't. Maybe you can get some property in New Zealand in in, in Australia or something, and go over there every once in a while and get your your suitcase of money and take it back on your boat. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Don't I'll show know. you. Can I share my screen? How, yeah, how do I see? Okay. You're not too far uh, from Australia on a boat. You're what, a, a less than a half an hour, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go to... Do you go hunting one. in Australia ever? No, I haven't. Just New I Zealand. Huh? That's interesting. Just in a small... I look at it as such a small island. You're hunting sheep and goats and mountain lions. And what do you what do you hunt? <laughs> We've So every animal on the island was introduced. All the natural animals that were here, the Maoris ate them all. <laughs> the Maoris? Um, yeah, that's our indigenous tribe. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you see this? Yeah. This screen now? Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you my... Uh, let me see, where is it? I'm just going to have to type it in. I normally have it. Oh, there it is, yeah. So this is my... The one uh um company well, that, that looks nice. that's a nice um, nice gun yeah yeah so currently um uh we do this every year uh for the for the month of uh, uh february and march all sales that come in you get a uh you win a ticket i'll do a draw at the end of march or first of april and then i'll take the person out for a hunt so that's me in that photograph so you can know yeah. that's what i norm normally look like um yeah. But then, so this whole thing has been developed. Uh, that's if you want to shop. Well, there's all of our products there. Wow. Um, uh, there's an about us page. Those um, are nice, I, I, nice scopes for that price, huh? So be, this is for the not the not the faint at heart. These are people that are serious about hunting. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Hunt, hunting and competition shooting. So these are guys here: this is Steve Dunphy, Matt Easton, Jacob Greenlaw. These are guys, so remember I said to you I needed to market and market properly. So 
I selected guys that were active in the in the field of of hunting and in the field of uh, competition. And then I took them on. I sponsored them. So I gave them their rifle scopes. I gave them their clothing. There's my brand in this one here. He's wearing my hat, my shirt. He's got my scope on there. Another, there's the other guy. He's got my hat, my shirt. So I went and uh, developed a brand of clothing that would be recognized with, with these guys. Um, and yeah, that, that, that again was part of my strategy was to create ambassadors for my brand that would be out there doing it. It's easy for me to sit behind a desk and say, Hey, buy my product. It's much, uh, easier. Well, it's hard for me to say that it's much easier for me to say, Hey, follow these guys. There's their Facebook page, their Instagram page. We sponsor them, watch what they go out there and do. Um, so we've did that. Uh, another thing I'll, I'll show you here is um, oh, where's YouTube? Let's just get out of this here. I'll add another screen. So I then went one further and sponsored guys on YouTube. Oh, this is going to give me a pain in the ass. Do you guys have this two thing? This two factor authentication. Authentication. Yeah, not for YouTube though. To, to oh. go, in, you have to sign in to your YouTube channel or a YouTube channel. Yeah, every time, man. Um, huh. I wonder if you save it in your browser, if it's if it would recognize that you're the right. It's it's you all the time, and not have to do that. Maybe I can help oh. you set that up. Yeah, I've I've tried that, and uh, it just comes back to this every time. Even when I go in, anything to do with Google. When I go into my Gmail accounts, same thing. Well, I think you could probably go into your Gmail account and maybe remove the two-step authentication feature. I'll, I'll show you how to do that. All right. Thank you. I'd appreciate it. So this is uh, one of the guys that I took on board, um, Controlled Recall. So we got him up and up and running, uh, got him all the cameras, the drones, the whatever, to produce and make YouTube so he's now got his own channel. He's got uh, 9,000 subscribers. Um, in this particular one here, on, oh, I'll take it away. So the camera that you can see that's attached to the back of that <coughs> scope is my other product that I use. So I've got him. And then uh, the other one that I've got is this gentleman here, Chase the Wild. So again, he's out there using my products, but he makes, see this one here, he, he makes uh, um, he makes videos and content and what have you, which I can then use. So he promotes my business. So it, the costs in doing that was I gave them free scopes uh, and free um, uh, things to wear and what have you. This uh -huh. guy also I managed, I, I, I gave him a bit of camera, Stuff. I actually gave him a computer so that he could start editing his own videos and what have you. Um, and as a result, now I I have access to to all of this. Um, people see it and come to my site. So those are the ways that I've decided to market um, uh, for for the business. So by using other people to be my voice. Um, and it's proved to be pretty, you know, pretty, a pretty worthwhile adventure. Um, and it's, it's certainly paid off. That's amazing. So, yeah. But it's all just stuff that I think with a creative mind, I've, uh, so I'm just going to take this off here. Oh, I'll show you my other company. Um, where do I go to here? is the trigger cam the brand name of the product yes and do yeah. they have a location and marketing elements around the world uh yes they do 
So I'd love to set that up in your country. I mean, it is set up in your country. Um, but I'd love to, with the right, correct marketing, man, we can, this, this one here, I am really, really excited about. So is there anything what? else that, so let me ask you then, just to, I'm just brainstorming. I don't know enough about the market, but yes. is, is, is there something different about this trigger cam? Is, is it manufactured in New Zealand? It's, it's actually manufactured in, uh, in India. Okay. I was going to say, okay. don't say China. <laughs> <laughs> it was manufactured in India by iCam Technologies. The owner of TriggerCam is South African and such a beautiful Christian. Nice. It's, it's just absolutely wonderful how the Lord has led me to him. Um, we've had so many people try and take this product off me here in New Zealand. And he stood by me and said, no, and he says, uh, it's a God-given appointment and we believe you're going to do well for our product. So that's basically our, our site there. Um, you know, you can go to videos and watch videos on, on the product actually being used on how to set it up. Um, but that's a product that I want to take international. Yes. So I what does the trigger cam do? Does it actually take... A picture right when you shoot or right before you shoot or yeah yeah so shoot. that's our motto relive the moment so there's there's two aspects of the camera one is that it will capture the 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 footage of you actually shooting whether it be target shooting or whether it be uh, uh shooting uh wild game um that's the one aspect the other aspect is is uh the the, the teacher's aid so it it helps you in teaching people to shoot. So you'll I can if that camera is on your scope, I will stand next to you with either my iPad or my cell phone, and I can see exactly what you're doing. There you go. That's what I was. So the technology yeah. is big. It's a it's an educational tool more than reliving the moment. I think people can say, okay, how can I learn how to shoot better? Well, the trigger cam, and I can watch this. Your what yeah. you're seeing through your scope on my app on my phone and instruct yes. you remotely yep uh, that's a technology that i don't even know even exists in the right. U united states military does it exist in the united states military what if you so that's the exciting part I'm, I'm glad you this this is why this is a god a god appointment honestly i i i, I get um you getting you getting like chills up your back and your hair on your back of your neck standing up. That's the Holy <laughs> Spirit, man. That's I feel it all the time. And I because we're living in the moment and God has got yes. it and we're 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 in the right place. And I want to assure you that God doesn't like uh, a confusion. And I, I think that's the confusion is the rapid uh, education that we're getting through Billy Jean and and this the, the whole thing. There's yes. so much, but we got to just say, God, give us patience. And that's the yes. spirit. I mean, it's the ability to to eat and add the elephant one bite at a time and just be, be mindful yeah. in the moment and not think about a year from now and get overwhelmed, right? Correct. That's 100%. But you mentioned military. I, so our SWAT police team here in, or police force here in New Zealand, um, actually use this to train their shooters. Nice. I managed to get it in there. I went and I spoke with them. Um, I spoke with him. I met the instructor, instructor through wanting to buy one of my rifle scopes. He said, oh, will you come down and demonstrate it for us and whatever? So I said, yeah, with pleasure. He says, do you mind if I bring my team down? I said, no, well, not a problem. And I thought, well, it's a great opportunity to take my uh, trigger cam with me. So I spoke about the scopes and what have you. Then I said, well, look, can I show you something else? So I pulled this out, put it on the rifle. And I said, you as an instructor, and as an instructor, you're trying to teach this gentleman how to shoot. Do you know even where he's aiming? So he says, I haven't got a clue. He says, I can draw it on a drawing board and I can try to explain to him, but when he's actually behind that gun, I have no idea what he's doing. Because they've got to learn to, to shoot in front of a target. They've got, you know, there's all sorts. They've got to learn wind. Based, on, learn. Its, based on its distance, how far away, how far do you lead it? What is Absolutely. it? What is the target speed? There's a bunch of variables. What's the wind? All that can exactly. Be so there's so much there that's involved. So I said, okay, let's have a look at this. I connected it onto my, onto onto his uh, um, rifle, 
I said to this guy, right, now you lie, lie, lie down behind there, tell me what you're aiming at. So he told me and all of that. So I said, okay, fine. And then I connected the app on my phone and I, I said to the instructor, now, here's what he's doing. Mm. And he was, he was just blown away. You know, the next day I got an order in my, my mailbox here <laughs> from the New Zealand police. Wow. Um, just before Christmas, the police have ordered eight more. That's awesome. You know, and then we also do, this is a lovely little one here. Um, so for law enforcement, this BSP camera, the BSP stands for bow, shotgun, or pistol. Okay. Bow for okay. the hunting bow. Is, is a bow and a, yeah. a bow. Yeah. More so nice. it can be fitted, fitted on, 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 on to that. But for a pistol, you know, underneath uh, a nine millimeter Glock or most, uh, um, law enforcement uh, pistols, there is a rail underneath. So this this part here will connect onto that. Now, law enforcement are more and more needing to have this so that when they discharge that rifle, they've got video proof. Yes. I was uh, just going to say I, what a perfect market because they got these video cams on their, on their bodies, yes, on their yeah. uniforms, but it's not showing... The, what he's seeing sometimes their arm might be covering the video or they yes. it might be off at an angle and they're not seeing the actual target because of yeah. for whatever reason there's something blocking that they're they're in the heat of battle so there's nothing separating the view of a gun because a gun has to be right on the target correct that, it's straight on the target and the camera's in front here nothing's gonna do it and so they're they're needing it um to protect themselves in a court of law yeah the, the police here would buy this by the thousands if it if they have the budget for it. Yeah. So they, this, they is, this is this is why I'm so excited about this particular product. I I, I need to get it international. Um, now I'll show you here if I can go back here one more time. So if we go um, dot com. So this is now the South African uh, website. So it is on yeah. Google. If I did a triggercam.com, I could find it here in the United States. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but that's the manufacturer. And he's not looking for distributors right now. He's he Does he have a distributorship? Oh, there we go, right there. He's got distributorships already. Yeah, all over the world, you know. But in America, and so how do they? How do these distributors differ from what we can do? Here's an idea: let's go work with each one of these distributors and set up an agreement and market their stuff online, using Billy Jean's approach, and then we can use high level to sell them on why they should use with that use us, and and we got the manufacturer on our side that he could make it like a recommendation, highly recommended. We could go to each one of these these distributors in each one of these countries, and maybe not all of them work with us, but a handful, and we could have work with them on a partnership arrangement or like maybe it's just they don't pay us per on a on a fee basis that they pay us on a commission structure so it's not even a expense to them we just if we get x number of sales for them we get x number of dollars 100 percent. when i saw what billy did with orange theory yes jim this picture here that's on my screen here came to mind we I'm can take, i'm going to take a picture of this yeah you're welcome mate you're welcome we can set up marketing through through um high level and what have you where so first of all we can translate into we can translate into indian if we have to yeah you know so by by and and we can make authentic I mean, it's 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 my job today is I don't know if can you see this that I've got here. I can see it's a lot of words. I don't see the details, but that's okay. good. So that is the start. Oh, that's a blank page. <laughs> that's the start of my Facebook ad for for Trigger Cat. Okay, um, I want to make an ad that would be recognized internationally and can be used internationally. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, this is such a God appointment. I don't know how to use high level. 
Well, the other thing that I could, the other question I have is, so there's all these distributors. And then if we did a Facebook ad internationally or targeted specific countries, say we start with uh, uh, Australia, because it's close to you, right? Start with Australia. Um, and did a Facebook follow Australia, is that distributor that have rights with Trigger Cam to a point where they feel like they're they're being stepped on in their territory? Or what? what uh, no. No? No, I've, so I'm learning, as Billy said, you know, I'm learning the fact that once it gets onto, onto the web, it's fair game for anybody. It's absolutely fair game for 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 anybody. My my idea for this trigger cam is to run the ads, to drive them to my to my page to make the purchase, but I don't have the capital. If if one person from every one of those companies bought on the same day, I don't have the capital to sit with sixty scopes in house that I could then distribute to whoever purchased i don't have that okay, but what so i do have yeah okay gotcha what i do have is is our main distributor Lo- is local is in no is in south africa so right. with your his name is Johan. i set this all up the, the the sales get driven to me and then i just forward them on to head office so it's not really hurting the distributors. It's 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 taking another at marketing around the world, uh, doing marketing that these distributors are not doing. Because some of these distributors might sell multiple products, right? They're like a retailer. They, they sell you a probably find them in, You probably find them in Cabela's. If you looked up on Cabela's or the Bass Pro Shop, you may even find them there. You know? That uh, um, makes sense. Because they're not really focusing just on that product. And because you're just focusing on, the, focusing on right. that product, the world's your market. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I would love to go into a joint venture with you. Uh, honestly, I'll I will put all my expertise into it. And the thing is, is that so. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The, I mean, you know, the uh, like I said to you in the beginning, I started up two businesses with not a cent to my name, and I did exactly what Billy did. I sold products that I didn't actually have in 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 my possession. I call that the uh, Billy. I call that the Bill Gates syndrome. You know, that's what when Bill Gates. I heard you. Microsoft, I heard you mention that. <laughs> see, when, when Bill Gates started Microsoft, people don't realize that when he first sold it to IBM, he didn't have the software. Yeah, he, well, just there knew, you go. he knew where to get it, and he knew how to get it, and it needed some work. Right. But he knew a guy in New Mexico that, and he paid him seventy five thousand dollars. But that was the software was worth twenty years later seventy five hundred billion dollars. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's incredible. You know, so I mean, that's how I started off. I then built up capital um to a point where i could sit here with forty thousand us dollars worth of stock in my in 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 my garage but i started from not not one cent honestly i didn't have a cent i had a belief and a faith in god that i was on the right track and if god before you who can be against you Uh, and and uh, and yeah i just went for it i believed um i'm so excited what i'm hearing right now is just you're it's, you're not you're you're not hearing me at all there, Wayne. What I, you're hearing is your feelings that the Holy Spirit is telling you and making it feel. I'm not I'm saying anything. Saying, <laughs> you're not. Uh, say, I'm not saying anything. My heart is <laughs> my heart is quickening, my friend. Honestly, like I, mean, I it said, could have been anybody in high in Billy Jean's high level. It been Billy exactly. Jean's group that could have called you and done this because yeah. you know I I I believe that it's a God sin. I believe that God is in control. I believe that God has put me here. For a reason and i know that this is a piece of it my goal is to have 100 businesses like this my goal is to make and i don't Beautiful. want to, the, the 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 notoriety i don't want the money but i want to i want to make enough money to change the world make a massive impact and leave something for that we leave behind because we're not going to be here for much longer right we got we got 10 15 right. good years left in us what can we do rapidly and it's going to be through right. these types of tr- relationships we might find through this avenue it opens up another door on an international once we learn how to do some of the stuff that billy's che- teaching us and we can get it done quickly i gotta learn it first then i'm there's a there's a few pieces i don't know i know probably 50 percent of high level really well but the other 50 yeah. percent is really important to me like the web design i'm not very good at the web design if i can do a website 
and get the templates rolling and do a website in a day, we can pop out 10 websites in a week. And the, the whole marketing side of that, I understand yeah. how to find databases. We can go out to say the United States and I got the this AI tool that I can pull up every website on the internet that has anything to do with hunting and they have a Facebook page that has anything to do with outdoorsmanship. Uh, we can target and then we take that into Facebook and do a lookalike and do ads directly towards them and then focus in geographical areas where there's a lot of hunters, the Midwest, people where wow. the, the, we can take and market for that. <laughs> praise the Lord, man. Honestly, yeah. praise the Lord. It's, it's uh, yeah. I get emotional. You'll find with me, I'm a very emotional sort of guy. I me uh, too. I, me I, too. <laughs> I, try not to, I try not to be, but don't yeah. don't cry. But it's when you're when you feel like crying, just say yes, I thank think, you, Lord. I think Please. that's why I, I like to to be in the dark a little bit so you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, man. That's yeah. good. Well, I let's let's pray really quick because I gotta go get do some oh, things. Amen. Yeah. Oh, thank oh, you, Lord. Lord. I'll finish in prayer and I thank you, Lord, for Wayne and this yes. opportunity this time Amen. to meet and, and show us your will. Yes, yeah, let us be a vessel for you, Lord. Mm. And we mm. pray that these opportunities come about easily and quickly with your spirit, because we know yes. that it's going to be for your will. We're, we're, we're not doing it for our, 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 our abilities and, and for us to be boastful. We're doing it because we want to give back to people because we realize our, our spirit on this earth is limited yes. in time and we have to mm -hmm. make our work be for your kingdom and we Amen. pray that you put your heart on everything that we do educate yes. us quickly remove the fear and, and the frustration and the and the overwhelmed yes, feelings and, and know that it's all in the journey and the process that you want us to go down and you designed this in your name lord in jesus name amen amen, amen. no no jeff look uh, i really really appreciate it man no, you don't know how much I appreciate you. You're, 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 you're opened up my, I, I, there's hope now. I mean, I, I didn't, I'm not making, like I said, I'm not making any money I'm doing right now. I'm working for free because I know that God has got a better, something bigger yeah. for me. He put me here for a reason. I feel like I'm at, like John and in, in the prison and it's all for the good. It's all good. No matter oh, what. 100%. And those chains are broken. Those they chains are. are broken. We have been set free, you know? We're going. To, we're going to do this. I'm. I'm just so excited. I'm going to work on these um, today. Actually, oh, that's what I wanted to ask you. Did I hear correctly? There's a program that we can go into that will take a YouTube video and break it down. Yes, let me share that with you. Matt. Yeah. So I, I. I haven't bought. I'm. I'm so reluctant to buy products at this stage. Um, so I need to, to, to get chat GTP four. at the moment. I'm just using Google bot and they, they're actually bloody good. I'm, I'm very impressed. Um, but I need to, oh, cap cut YouTube video downloader. So, um, I know it, it's a lot, and it, it what you can do is you can take a YouTube video and it, it's download. Or you, it, what you do is you put the URL right here from the YouTube channel. Yes, and yes. and it'll take that into. You just read this; it'll give you um, all kinds of functionality. Now, this has probably a paid version, and it has limitations probably on. Um, it's free version. I haven't messed along a lot with it, but I have yeah. looked at what it done and the, the possibilities with it. You could take the formats like MP4, MP5, all these, yes. all these, but it okay. says it's completely free. Now, I don't know if that's <laughs> just a way to get you to go further and then you get to the point where you got something you want to cut that says, okay, we'll cut this video for you for, for, you know, two bucks a month or whatever. But at some point, I, I am oh, excellent. Yeah, I'm going to send this to you. Thank you. I just heard of this uh, from, uh, I was in an open, it was an office um, time. Yes. I'm going to send this in uh, chat. Thank you. In school. Because I've I've got that many videos um, that we've created as a team whereby I'd, so I want to be able to take photographs out of 
out of, you know, or cut so that it looks like a photograph or a picture, so it's rather, um, to create ads from. Because we can we can put in pictures and 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 all of that. You know, yeah, so it says you can quickly convert and download hundreds of videos and music files directly from YouTube and other social media websites. So it's basically a URL uh, editor for videos and audio. It'll, it can yeah. Download. So this is hopefully is what you're looking for. Exact fast video conversion. Yeah. Latest technology to encoding systems. So you don't have to wait much for the conversion. Yes, yeah, so I just want to see what 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 we can actually do with it. Yeah, because you know these these four years that I've uh, that I've been doing this, uh, I've accumulated so much. Well, let's take a, a video really quick and see. I'm gonna do this. So can you go from there? Oh, okay. Yeah, just so take that from there. Share and you go to copy, and then put yeah. that URL right in here and see what it does for us start by using this video so pro website in 10 minutes this is the website so you want to convert the video what are you going to convert it well my question to them is what is it converting it to yeah after youtube your url bar to download videos so it's going to just put it into an mp3 file yeah let's see what it does uh i'm going to convert it it might take some time yeah yeah, let's just see what let's just see what it's gonna do. But yeah, um yeah, I'd I'd be very, very interested. Or there must there's got to be somewhere. I, I must actually go on to school where you can actually take a video, a YouTube video, take photograph or pictures, individual pictures out of it to create your ad, as long as it's your product. Yeah, here's what I do. You can use anybody's picture off of YouTube, but like you said, it's it's free game if it's on the web, right? So we converted yeah. it already. It looks like it's downloaded. Let's look at my download and see if it came in here. Uh, recent. There you are. Oh, that's here yesterday. High level marketing. Um, download. Maybe I got to hit download now. Oh. Ah. Open you've got to accept page. accept oh. all the cookies there. So here it is right here. Here's the it took a minute to get in my system. So let's look at this. So here it is. It downloaded it. Okay, it's wow. a file now and it has everything removed. Like the advertisement, it doesn't say YouTube. It it's a 14. In this video, I'm going to show you how you services. Uh, there, can, there you go. Titles, you can have pictures like this. You can have. Pictures. So this so now. Like this, so this is now a file that I own, and your intentions of doing that. Well, I don't know what this is. Open G G X setup. So this took me to another thing. I'm not sure what this is. Cookies. Yeah. Um. I normally just accept all cookies. If you try and manage them, you I, I don't know which ones to manage. Import setup and bookmarks. So this is probably a, a, a system that you can use with those files yeah. to play the file. So yeah, this is great because you can take any video. And get you know, it. you can just take a portion out of any video. What's, your, what's a video that you want to, that you got that's short, that's on your uh, YouTube channel? Um, Let me see if I could find it. Uh, all right, let's let's do this. Do this one. Um, Element optics, global hunting. There you go, global hunting. Now that first one there. So that so one. In this, in this video, what would you want to have removed from it? The the words, or yeah. I'd want to take the words out and then only, I mean, I'd take that part out. This is a, this is a hunt where I went and actually shot an animal. So it was, we, we climbed up the mountains, got up right up there into the snow. Um, there's my animal there. 
that was 600 yards away from me. Wow. Yeah, you know, um, so you yeah, went so pieces of this video then. Yeah, I could take pieces of that and use that. This would just be absolutely phenomenal. So it would remove this global hunting element here, right? Yeah. I mean, all all of that stuff I can I I I can take out. But so my so that that's now on, on my element optics page. Okay. Um but if I then went to to the trigger cam. There's so many videos that have been made for trigger cam. I can take bits and pieces out of that to create, uh, or we can take out, sorry, to create um, Facebook ads. So if you typed in there trigger cam. So let me, let me give you, let me give you some heads up of what's available from what I learned so far in the, in the Billy Jean training. Okay. So yes, this is, a video uh, from a guy that I found on YouTube that knows high level on how to build websites really well within high level. It's a 14 right. minute video and he hits, he hits on and he does video screens, uh, demonstrations. Okay. Literally, what I can do is I can take this video, put it into uh, a tool. And I think I'm not sure which one it is, but it'll take everything that he says and yes. put it into a script and then right. I can take my voice and record my voice. Yes. And then put that script into and, and connect it with my voice and then put it on this video and it, it'll it'll sound like it's me. And I can wow. cut out the pictures of him and just go through the, uh, it's basically editing a video and using someone else's work to put my image and my face and my voice over everything that he did. And you'd, you'd ask, why would you do that? Well, I would think from the regards that it would be easier to demonstrate to somebody the right way something so you could take what somebody else has done the right way. Instead of emulating yes. that, that video, just take that and make that yours. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. No. I, I really don't. I just want to... Oh, this is such a big answer to praise, honestly. It's, yeah, uh, there's a lot more that you when you take these videos, this is what I'm trying to study right now, into the video stuff and the editing and making creative images using AI so you stand out to people in the market. Because right now, you know, everybody's got something to sell, but how do, you got to stand out so people are attractive and it's got to be kind of engaging and funny. And mm. I the, the, the brainstorming that I'm trying to have is is around different industries. How can you use your personality to make it uh, more fun for people to want to work with you, right? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. No, like look, I, if we if we took the trigger cam, um, if you're willing, you know, because we've got we've got everything we need. We've got all the video we need. We've got all the instructions we need. We've got all the photographs we need. We've got everything that we need. So we could start up, you know, I, I honestly feel if we started up an advert, drove traffic to, we'd let's, we'd let's start up a website. I'm more than happy. I, I trust, I trust you with all my heart. You know, yeah. if you wanted yeah. to start it up, um, get a bank account set up over there, get whatever, and then just start driving traffic and, and uh, you know, we'll we'll help each other on the way, both of us. And we well, then... what I've what I've established is uh, I'll just show you really quick what I got already within yeah. another platform that I use. Um, am I showing my screen still? I am, right? Yes. So I got this platform. It's called Strikingly. This is where I built some websites on. And oh, I, okay. And I built some web. My website is PL Marketing Partners. It's on here. And so within PL Marketing Partners, I connected it to a bunch of. Um, Program, uh, let's see, program paying marketing. So this is one page where they yes. can pick which marketing program they want. 
and they click oh, wow. on, they click on select and it takes yes. it to a place a page where it just actually says you know enter your credit card number and they're billed and then i get notified right so that that's that, I built that already. So I have that system in place. It's connected with the bank. It's connected with, it's called Stripe. It's, I don't know if you're familiar with Stripe. Yeah. You yeah. I use Stripe on my, on, 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 uh, my bank, Kiwi bank uses Stripe. Got it. So that's, that's fantastic. But yeah. yeah so you see what I'm saying? We, we start now driving traffic to there. Um, and initially, when all, all, all that I would need um, would have to go into the final details, but basically I would just need the cost of the product. So I'll, I, I mean, what do I pay US? <laughs> give me a, give me a, so I sell them. Yeah, yeah trigger again. Sorry, we couldn't open. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I'll have to go back and have a look at that. So what I'm saying is we set it up, we make the sales as long as, so from your bank, you could transfer the money across to the South African distributor so that it, it was paid. Okay. We would then initially get them to distribute the product to that person. They ship anywhere in the world. So is there like a certain amount? Is there like a, um, well, I guess we could work out the cost and and how much they'd want to have shipped, but we would have on our presentation, the retail value, the retail cost, they can buy yes. online and then plus, this is plus the shipping. They'd have to tell us where there are and then we'd have to do some calculations and they'd be billed shipping later because we don't know what the shipping would be because it's all going to be different, right? He might They might be able to give us an idea based on what country they're in to know what well, country they like. they can re they can give us all of those figures i mean andre is very transparent if i said to him look tell me what your your shipping costs are um i do know i've established with him that the cheapest way to ship over here to new zealand from south africa is to buy eight units at a time eight eight units In, eight units at a time individually it it becomes uh too expensive we use dhl Oh, excuse me. They're very, very efficient. So we use DHL. Um, but I think we're onto something. We just need to go through the finer, finer points, the finer details, how, how we can put this all together. Oh, I, we're, we're, not, we're more than onto something. I think it's just a matter of working it through the process and being patient to make it happen and, and create the market uh, strategies using all the tools that we're learning. Wouldn't it be something at the end of 16 weeks, we show Billy what we've developed and then we say, hey, listen, not only we do we partnership where we've taken this product and we're marketing it right now, we're selling right now currently a thousand units a month. <laughs> yeah, oh man, what a success story, eh? I don't know if they can what handle the manufacturer story. can handle that type of volume, but I don't really care because we'd be making, <laughs> we would be making some money and then we we've learned so much to take us to the next opportunity in the next avenue. And this guy in South Africa might have other contacts and businesses that he could refer us to. And we grow the network for, for God fearing, uh, just, oh man. Oh, oh it's, it's just, it's, it, it's unlimited what we can do. Yes. You know, it's absolutely is un unlimited. It's, uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited, Jeff. I, I need to wrap my head around the, the, the how quick we can do this. And I don't know why this website is bouncing me to different places. It's really weird. When I go download, it's not, oh, there we go. See, it takes a long time. Once you hit download out, out of this YouTube video download, yes. it's yes. doing its editing process right now. It, it's such a big file. It's 1.8 megabytes, but it's converting it and putting it on my computer right now. You can see... Wow, it's not, it's not done yet, and I clicked on this um two minutes ago. Yeah, so, so you're going to be able to see this final conversion, um, and then we'll be able to edit it with CapCut and cut out pieces of it and put it all together. CapCut's another tool that I'll show you yeah. real quick. CapCut is the tool that um, 
you weren't at the meeting last Saturday, but uh, Mafuka no. down in Br Br Brussels, it yes, brought this one to the play to the play, and it's basically you upload a video, and then you can create um, images from it, and you can put images in a video flow. You can do. Oh, that's the one I'm looking for. That's the one that we need, mate. Yeah, honestly, with all with all the video footage that we've got. That's the one that we need. So now you got this video right now. This one, the hunting video. Let's look at it so you can see. It's eleven minutes. It it cut it a it cut it down to eleven minutes. So whatever it did, it moved it to lesser yeah. minutes. Can you hear that? No. Turn it up. What music has it got on it? Mine, the our, our music or. It's got it's music, yeah. There's music still playing, and it still has the the headers in there, but it, there's nothing around it that shows it's YouTube. It's actually a file that you own, right? Yeah. So if you want to take the the like, uh, let me. Let's so say you want to take this out, Element Optics Presents. Yes. We can take that out with CapCut. Brilliant. So you don't have to be presenting Element Optics. You can present Wayne's guns and and uh, scopes. Wow. And wow. then that's wow. your file. You own that, and you can put that anywhere. We could do that on a social media, a Facebook ad. We could take a piece of it out of a video, a piece of it, and put it into a YouTube ad. That we market to yeah. a specific area. Say, you know, when we get some videos from other hunters around the world, let's say we pick uh, elk in the United States as a market. Uh, you could, we could do some videos of some elk and and make it yeah. ours. Actually, if you go back, can you go back to YouTube, back to to where we found this video? Right. So if you scroll down. Federal goats in Australia. Um, where's the, I think the last one they did, just hold it there. Um, there, Utah. Prairie dogs hunting in Utah, the bottom one, did for 21 minutes. So that's that's our same. You see, they, they start off. Yeah, they start with, off the same, and we'll cut that out with cap cut. Yeah, and so then, all of that, they've they've used, they've taken our original video, and they've put in their bits and pieces, to start you know to start it off, and then they've gone on. So there's there's one of our scopes there. That's a that's an amazing scope. Um, yeah, and then the the rail that's been put on there on the chassis there. That's uh, wow, I've got so much. That's there, man. That's quite a setup. It's really nice. They're exciting to use. Uh, that's an air gun, by the way. That's an the air gun? That, yeah. That's uh, FX air rifles. So it's for target practice. Yeah. So now the interesting thing also here that I'd like to just touch on, I know we're going to, we, we're sort of dragging this out and I just love talking to you. But let me see if I can sh share my my screen with you. Yeah, let me, um, I got to, I got to, Click on something here. There you go. Try okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you. I got to stand no. up. My legs are killing me. Yeah, no, that's all good. And then I want to go to. Oh. Uh, is it that one? I think it's this. Yeah. Okay. Now, how do I get rid of this and bring it to the bottom? There we go. So, here, affiliate hunting programs. So I don't know if you've done much of, or, or looked into affiliate, affiliate marketing and how they work. No, I, I understand the concept and never dove dive, dive deep into the opportunities for affiliate programs. So you're saying there's hunting programs oh. that we can market and get paid that people will pay us yeah. for being involved. I, know, I understand that the concepts, we, we just get an affiliate number when a relationships with, and you're doing this with discover cars. 
No, no, no. Sorry, I was just seeing where that one was taking me to. That was that was actually strange. That's not where I was going. Um, but here, yeah, the eleven best affiliate hunting programs for twenty twenty four. So you go in there, and it'll tell you. Uh, these guys, Sierra. So if we promote their products, we can earn ten to fifteen percent commission. So we can just if put a don't... link on our site to, to yep. the affiliate. They just pay us. Yeah, it's it's just absolutely incredible. So these are the ten brownies. They're very big into uh, gun parts and what have you. Cabela's, you know Cabela's. Yeah. So you can earn up to five percent, and they've got such a wide variety of products to sell. Any product that gets sold, no matter what it is, you get five percent. So we wow. can develop ads in that area. Bass Pro Shop, huge in the states. Yeah, five percent from them. Field supplies, five percent. Campfire Collective. Now, there's one that would interest me. Thirty percent commission. Campfire Collective. Wow. You know what? It really is exciting about this because this is. I never even thought about the outdoors, and I grew up in Montana. You know where Montana is at, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone Park, all my Yellowstone. I was, I was just going to say, the Yellowstone Park is the first thing that comes to mind. Yellowstone, Wyoming. I, I grew up in that area, and I. As a sports addict, I was really in tune to football so much that it it took away from the outdoorsmanship. But my dad was a hunter and I hunted a little bit. And I really yes. wish that I would have hunted more and got more into it when I was younger. So I had yes. that to connect. I got a lot of relatives that are big time hunters. It's hunting in Montana is like that's if you don't hunt, you're like not you're not you're not American. <laughs> yeah, you're not from this planet. <laughs> you're gonna be so impressed when we put this together. I need to get a I need to nail down a task list and a time frame and a time model of what I want to do. I'm going to start with high level learning how to do the websites really well. I got a website I got to yeah. do. Beautiful. Give me a few days to finish that website. Yeah. And then you start writing down things you want to do. When you think of an idea, write it down. And then if you could put that into like a document, we'll get, what we'll do is we'll do a Google doc and a shared doc, and then we can yeah. both do it and view to it. And then and we can, you, yeah. and we can see each other's progress and I'll write down Here's what I came up with today. I'm working on this and then we can communicate. And as this evolves, you can talk to your people. Uh, keep this stuff in mind. Don't don't forget about it. Even if it's just a link that you save on the Google Docs. that Because then yes. if I go there, I can, if I see something I'm working on that I could be learning from high level and I say, oh, the affiliate program. I, high level has some aspects that really work well with that. Let me go learn that. You know, if it's something yes. that's my prior our high priority list, I guess, is what I want to do. The first thing we got to do is get the web presence, the web address, get the e-commerce capability set up for the banking. And you can yes. maybe do some research on your side and educate. And I'll do some research on my side. Yeah. Because the 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 once we get the foundation going and we start using some of the tools that are going to make our presence known with that we're learning from high level, it's it, we have to have some a certain good foundation. It's all going to be within high level. Beautiful, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. You know this this affiliate marketing is 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 the first thing that ever came to mind when when I was searching back four years ago. Wow! Uh, and you didn't start any of them. You didn't do any. I looked at it and I thought I want to do my own. Uh huh. So as a so oh no sorry so when I saw the the scope opportunity come about, I originally went for an affiliate. I wanted to do uh, um, affiliate marketing for them. And the further I looked into it with them and the more interest I showed to them, they said to me, well, look, why don't you just take over the agency and we'll give you the New Zealand agency. Uh, wow. And what's that going to cost me? They said, absolutely nothing. Nice. That's a, that's a godsend. Just, just do it. You know? So, I mean, there, if you look at, the way I look at it, my outlook is I want to get as many of these going as possible so that if I sell a $2 or if I make $2 commission on a thousand items a day, that's $2,000 a day. Yeah. The, uh, my mindset is the same thing. It's just zeros. 2000 a day. Uh, my goal is really to have been $100,000 um, a month. And that's oh, much higher. Yeah. A hundred thousand a month. That was just uh, an, 
an example, you know? Yeah, 4,000 we... a day or three, whatever the number is. And you can do that through multiple different sources. So if you can duplicate it once and you duplicate it four or five times, really it's just zero. So you got to just know right. how to cookie cut them. And then it's not a hundred thousand a month. It's, it's 6 million a month. And then we're giving so much to the kingdom that, you know, it's oh, just going to be mean. God's God's will to help people. We got to think about what we're going to do with the money. Cause we know that it's going to yeah. be there. I, I already have a plan. I already have a plan for the money. I've got a, um, an old age home here. Um, I, I, I went and shot an animal, uh, a, a deer once, and uh, I had excess for myself. So I took a deer down to the uh, the old age home. And I tell you what, it brought tears to my eyes. Uh, these old men who used to be hunters. Yeah. Just the fact that they were eating some wild venison. They were happy. And the stories, the stories that they told, you know, and it was just too beautiful. So my heart is to, to bless that old age home, that community. We've also got so I'm I'm starting close, right within my immediate facility, my little town of Oxford. There's only I think oh, four and a half thousand residents yeah. in this little town, but I want to impact this town that they know who God is, that right. they know that uh, the people who are struggling on the streets who can't, you know, um, okay, we don't have people on the streets here, but I know of families that are struggling, right, you know that I want to go and bless. I know of elderly people in their 70s and 80s who have lost everything and they are, they, they are living in a caravan Yeah. right now. I want to go to them and say, he has a house, man. Yeah. He has a house. Right. I, 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 we're going to build communities. We're going to, we're going to change the world. We're going to do it through Christ, not, not the religion. We're going to do it through the Holy Spirit and the people that we Amen. connect with. Yes. And I, I got a developer that goes to my church that, his, I'm going to introduce you to him, and he's a phenomenal man. He's he's su so successful, and he lost everything, and he's a very spiritual, spirit spirit filled man. His name's Pat M McClary. Uh, yes, uh, his sports was boxing, and I he says, you know what, Jeff? I when I talked to you, I knew that there was going to be something that we were going to do together. I don't know what it is. Ah, beautiful. And he beautiful. said to me, "We're going to do it." And I like, I'm with you, man. Let's just listen to the Lord and let's go. And this guy's got so much connections with my pastor. Oh my gosh, I got so much I want to share with you. We could talk all day. Oh, mate. I've got so much, my friend, also. Just <laughs> on the housing side. I mean, I've researched. I've got a company in India who build a container home. So when I first looked into it, it was going to cost me 12 and a half thousands to get one. And it's a two-bedroom home. Uh -huh. So it's two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, all in a container. Yeah. that folds out on itself Wow, that can be put up anywhere in the country. I stopped. So it's, it's mobile or it, it's actually, it, you, once you put it in place, it stays permanent? Once you put it in state, it's a permanent structure. I'll send you some information on it. Why don't we market, um, why don't we market that? Oh, no, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the world is our oyster. Yes. The world is our oyster. Yes. And I will use the things of the world to further the kingdom of God. That's exactly what we're going to I'm, I'm not afraid to do it. I'm not afraid. And I, I say AI, people were saying, oh, AI, you know, four years ago, AI is the devil. AI is the devil. It's going to, I said to myself, I said, God, I know that the world's changing. I want you to educate me to change with it, to be successful, yes. use the money for the kingdom and guide me that you can use bad for good. Paul did it. Listen, yeah, 100%. Yeah, we're gonna do it, Wayne. Yeah. Let's oh, I love it. <laughs> so let's pray. Let's pray about it, and the, you know, let's come together. My goal is make every few days. I'm gonna send you yes. info. Uh, send me, uh, you know, anything you can. Uh, I'm gonna research. I'm gonna work nonstop on this thing, day and night. I'm gonna go until I pass out, and then get up early and go. My, I'm gonna Beautiful. tell you, this. I got a few obligations I got to get done first. So yes. do those, please. Let's to give it a few days, but feed me information. I'm gonna be always studying. And then I'm going to um, um, probably, what is today? Hopefully by the end of the weekend, say Sunday after church, I'm going to finalize the, the Super Bowl Sunday. I'm going to have my kids over. Yes, I'm going to watch that. Yes, so I'm going to have my kids over. So maybe Monday we can have a conversation again. Beautiful. I'd love that. I'd love that. And uh, yeah, I, 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 I just can't stop. I can't sit still. I got to get up and go. Yeah, this is a God appointment. Eh? All right, buddy. Well, we'll Thank you so much. God bless you, man. And uh, yeah.
I'll send you uh, some videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some studying, and then uh, we might even talk before Monday. So don't okay. worry. No, that's I'm I'm excited, man. Let's let's do this. Come and God's in control. God bless. I, let's do it. I'll Praise talk to you, man. everybody. All right. God bless you. Talk soon. Praise, praise the Lord. PL Marketing Partners. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Bye-bye. All right, bud. Bye now.